Okay, it's August 13th, 2020, and this is just a quick update on possibly traveling to Guatemala. Follow along. Okay, again, this is just gonna be a quick video on possibly traveling to Guatemala. I have wanted to travel so much recently that I've been watching my old videos to Guatemala and it's given me the itch to want to get back there. Do I want to get on a plane, a, a flight right now, a plane? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Possibly in the future, if it were an empty plane, I know people who have traveled and they were fine. But for right now, as of this moment today, I'm not ready to get on a plane. But with that said, I want to give you some information that I found online. Uh, so follow along with this real quick. Okay, let's start with the points guy. I'm going to read these. I know you guys can read, but for those who are in the car or working and cooking and cannot see your screen, I'm going to read some of it for you. So this one states for Guatemala. Guatemala has uh, had more than 29,000 cases of coronavirus as of July 13th. This is dated, I think, like two or three weeks ago also. They update these as best they can. Uh, according to the local U.S. Embassy, the Guatemalan government has closed its borders to most non-Guatemalans. Travel within the country is highly restricted and a mandatory curfew is being enforced. 15% of the cases in the country have been found in people deported from the United States. And Guatemala only agreed to accept future flights of deportees if the U.S. helps test every one of them. 15%, that's crazy, from the U.S. Okay. Uh, I jumped over to Reuters uh, because it had an article, and this one's dated a couple of weeks ago. Well, July 27th, it's entitled uh, Guatemala Begins Economic Reopening, Though Coronavirus Still on the Rise. Picture of uh, Gia Mate, the president. Uh, Guatemala City, according to Reuters, Guatemala began reopening its economy on Monday, easing restrictions imposed four months ago to curb the coronavirus. Although cases are still on the rise in much of the country, uh, the, Cent the Central American nation closed its borders and implemented a curfew in March, in addition to suspending public transportation and economic activities in sectors not considered to be essential. In an address announcing the reopening on Sunday night, President Alejandro Giamate urged Guatemalans to stay vigilant. Dear friends, we need everyone's commitment. The decisions have not been easy, he says. Although the country's borders remain closed, various industries can resume operations, public transportation will gradually begin running, and shopping centers and restaurants can reopen starting on Monday. The curfew will remain in place at night. Despite the relaxation of health measures, nearly half of Guatemalan municipalities remain on red alert, meaning cases have yet to level off. On Sunday, Guatemala reported 45,000 cases of COVID-19 and 1,700 deaths. And again, this is as of two weeks ago. Okay, I found this one uh, in Central America, and uh, it's entitled uh, Guatemala No Reopening Date. Guatemala is under a state of calamity until at least August 5th, which is already passed again, which means it has uh, some of the most restrictive of lockdown measures in Central America. Travel between departments is banned, and there is no public transportation operating. Only Guatemalan citizens or legal foreign residents with a Guatemalan cedula can enter the country. All entrants, citizens and residents alike, need to quarantine for 15 days upon arrival. Guatemala allows people to leave the country, although you will need an official government letter of safe conduct to travel internally and the country to the airport or border. The airport remains closed apart from occasional repatriation flights for stranded foreigners. Guatemalan citizens looking to leave will need to ensure that their receiving country will allow them to allow them doubtfully, allow them in doubtfully, I'm sorry. Guatemala is, is not on the list of 14 countries approved for travel to the European Union at this time. Foreign tourists inside Guatemala, those without legal residency, should stay put until the end of a state of calamity. <clears throat> now, I saw this link down here. 
I guess this is on Twitter with deaths piling up, health authorities out of ammo, unemployment and hunger soaring and remittances plummeting. So I clicked the link and it brings a story over here. It's, it's stressful even to know that these people are going through this. My God, this is dated as of June 27th. So this is even old. And listen to what it says. Central America's battered economies cannot take much more in decision. Lack of real leadership lack of immigration, and flip-flopping. Mind you, this is uh, an op-ed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Countries with zero government help for the poor and unemployed, unemployed need some kind of alternative to perpetual lockdown. Here, Nestor Kikstan offers a brief glimpse into Guatemala's economic situation. With the recent spike in confirmed COVID-19 cases in Guatemala, the prospect of reopening the country seems a distant proposition. Just three weeks ago, the Guatemalan government was already beginning to put plans in place to reopen its borders and reactivate its economy. But the exponential increase in cases since then has forced the government to slam on the brakes. To continue the driving analogy, it's not only slammed on the brakes, it's done a screeching handbrake turn in to reverse its reopening policy. Central government has doubled down on lockdown by extending the curfew at weekends and restricting car usage. Odd number of plates can circulate one day and even numbered on the next. Already long suffering businesses were not expecting this curveball. The government had began to unveil reopening guidelines to have that hope disappear and partially devastating as laid off furloughed employees and informal workers begin to strive to start. So, you know, I was looking at the airport trying to figure out what opens. And so I called United and I'm going to have to call them again because it did not record my recording. I want you to hear what he told me as far as can I book a flight or when can I book a flight back to Guatemala City? Um, so this is their uh, uh, Guatemala City Airport. Um, and it, it shows, you know, flights coming from Houston, Montreal and Miami. But uh, let me let me show you what he told me about this, though. All right. Please hold while I transfer you to a representative who can assist you. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. Hi, thank you for calling United. My name is Ella. Hi, Ella. Hi, how are you doing today? I am great. How about yourself? That's good to hear. Uh, doing fine. Thank you for asking. Um, how can I help? I'm trying to see if it's possible. I don't know if the airport in Guatemala City has reopened yet, but I want to see if possible if I could book a flight for leisure on the 22nd of this month. Oh, sure. Not a problem. More than happy to check here. Um, you sent to Guatemala the 22nd, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, the 22nd, there's um, none, or there's no availability uh, or available flights leaving Houston to Guatemala. Okay, when are they scheduled to reopen the flights or begin flights again? Do you know? Um, that let me check here. Um, the earliest flight that we have availability will be on the 2nd of September. September 2nd, so that's when they're officially reopening the airport? Or, or when United is returning flights, starting flights? Um, that is uh, when, I mean, when United is returning or having a flight going to Guatemala. Okay, so that's probably the same day that they're reopening, right? I would assume. That's what I'm, th mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking also, but it's still subject to change. Like, okay. um, Oh, sure. I mean, it might be either oh, if we're cancel or, but yeah, that's the earliest flight we have going to Guatemala. So that's your latest news. Okay, could you tell me how much it would cost to get a flight from the 5th through the 12th then of September? Um, okay, 5th of September to the 12th. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check here. Um, I have here a round trip ticket of $650. 650 that's excessive. Can you tell me it, how how uh, packed is the flight? How booked is it? I don't want to get on a full flight. Um, right now it's still showing um, there are plenty of seats available. Half full, maybe? Um, let me check here. 
este actual because there is a two flights of the day on the 5th of September. The morning flight is um, almost uh, booked, and then the evening flight are there are plenty of seats available. Okay, say half full? When you say plenty of seats? Um, uh, yes, the uh, morning flight is um, almost full. I got that. Like, um, yeah, I can't provide the exact, uh, but uh, it's almost full. And then um, the uh, evening flight, this one, um, there's still plenty of space. Plenty of seats. Is that like half full? I uh, know it is not the, the the evening flight. I know the evening flight. Is that about half full when you say plenty of seats? No, it is not. So it's less than half full. Ah, uh, yes, correct. The evening. Okay, flight. maybe people will start uh, wanting to fly right away. Could you check from the 19th? Through the 26th for me? The 19th to 26th. Mm -hmm. Okay, the 19th to the 26th, this one is um, like completely, I mean, uh, there's only a few. Um, hold on. Because it shows here there's so, um, more space available. Okay. So less than half full. Yes, correct. Less okay. Than half full. And, and um, the uh, outbound and the round are returned. Okay. And how much is the flight? Okay, for the fare, let me check. Nineteenth. I mean the nineteenth to the twenty-sixth. This one, it will be six hundred fifty dollars round Ooh. uh round trip. That's still steep. Wow. Okay. Okay, well that was it. I, I appreciate it. Let me think about this. Where are you located, by the way? I noticed an accent. I'm from the Philippines. Oh yeah, what part? Um, uh, Visayas part, Cebu City. Cebu. Okay, I know Cebu. I've been there. The whole. Oh. The whole area. <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful country. You guys are on GCQ still, right? I'm sorry. You you guys are still on GCQ. <laughs> you know that uh, Cebu City is in GCQ now. <laughs> yeah, I know it got worse, right? That was enhanced uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I thought they reopened it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, stay safe. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. Oh, before I let you go, also maybe you're interested of our current promotion. This is our United Explorer credit card. Oh you no. You can earn no, forty thousand. No, no, no. okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no thanks. No more credit card. <laughs> so. <laughs> no worries. Thank you for choosing United. Stay Alrighty. safe. Thank you. Bye you too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Also, thanks again for all my subscribers. And for those who are new to my channel, uh, this is a travel channel. But again, not much traveling going on right now. So I have a little bit of everything. But ultimately, I'm always going to get back to travel, traveling to Medellin, Colombia, traveling to Guatemala City, I'm in Antigua, traveling to the Philippines, traveling, you saw my Dubai, I hope to do a Philippines one uh, trip soon, and then the Europe and so on. So there's a lot more I need to edit and get done, but give me time on that. But again, this is a travel channel, so if I'm motivating you to travel, take a second and go down and hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated. Please comment and share if you like the video. We have a YouTube channel, like it. Please subscribe and kick the bell.